Okay, so finding the indefinite integral of a log function. Number two, this is from the quiz. So what did you take here? This one got kind of weird looking, didn't it? What did you decide to, you did u substitution, you let u equal what, Mr. Lin? Yeah, cube root of x minus 1. What did you do next? There's a couple things, a couple ways you can go here, isn't there? One, I'm really concerned about this, because right now I have u down here, but I'm stuck with this crap at the top. Seriously, and I'm a little bit, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Am I making sense? I'm not positive what I'm going to do with it. So, is this true? Is the cube root of x equal to u plus 1? How many of you can see how that, that might be helpful? Right, this is just a game. We're just trying to get everything in terms, I'm trying to get things in terms of u the best that I can. I'm going to go ahead and take du. D, uh, du is equal to uh, one-third x to the negative two-thirds. Isn't that right? If you don't mind, I'm going to go ahead and tuck that underneath here. And I'm going to take this as... Was it x to the two-thirds here? x to the two-thirds here, dx. If you don't mind, what do I want to do here? This is, this is confusing. It is weird. What, this is what I would say to you. Is, is this true? Is x to the one-third squared equal to x to the two-thirds? And why do I, why, how is this helpful? Right, because isn't this, if this is to the one-third, isn't this true? You see it, Jack? And that, so all of a sudden, I'm thinking that. I'm like, you know what, I'm going to take that. So I'm going to take du is equal to 1 over 3 times what? Now, I don't want to use cube root x. Right, I have this cube root, uh, cube, uh, root of x substitution, don't I? u plus 1 to the second power, because isn't that true? That this is equal to u plus 1, right? Is everybody okay with that? That's good, right? Jimin, is that what you did in your notes? It is. I just, I'm not a good reader, evidently. Sorry. It's, and then dx, right? So if I multiply that by the reciprocal here, I'll get 3u plus 1 squared. Yes? du is equal to dx. Okay, thanks. Here, I'm just going to rewrite this using my u substitution. So we'll get u plus 1, right, over u, dx, but dx is equal to this, isn't it? So I'm going to substitute this in, so times 3. Pay attention for a second because I want to take, I want to take this piece right here. I'm going to take this 3 and I'm going to pull it all the way out to here. Is that okay? And then u plus 1 squared du. So far, so good? This 3 is this one. u to the first times u to the second is u to the third. So I have u plus 1 to the third, which binomial expansion, right, is u cubed plus 3u squared plus, that's good math. This is good math, isn't it? Yeah, plus 3u. I see what you're doing. Somebody said 6u, but look at this. It's in, on binomial expansion, we do 3 times 2, right? And then we divide by what term it is. So I see where you got your 6. 2 times 3 is 6, but this is not the first, but the second. So 6 divided by 2 is Three. Remember binomial expansion? So that's, I'm just using this binomial expansion. And finally, at the end, I just get plus, plus 1. So I expanded this. And if you're listening to this and you're like, oh, my God, I don't remember my binomial expansion, go back and watch that video because it's really easy, isn't it? It's very, very doable. It's not super tricky. Uh, u to the third plus 3u squared plus 3u plus 1 all over, all over u. What am I forgetting? DU. Now what? 
remember when you're taking this exam, if, if you're asked to do this math, more than the math itself, you, you need to show your steps. So what do we have to do next? I think you said it, John, didn't you? Right, simplify it, right, or partition it. Right, so we have 3, so u cubed over u, right? 3u squared over u is 3u, isn't it? Plus, good, plus 3. Anybody see where I started to get confused for a second? I let my mind do this. I was like, 3u over u is 3, and then I saw the 1 up there by itself, but it's not going to be 1. It's going to be 1 over one over u, 1 over u, right? Du. Now what? We're almost there, aren't we? Now? I'm going to integrate by parts, right? So I'm going to integrate the first. So this is this du, then it's this du, then it's this du, then it's du over u. Yes or no? So the integration of that, so I'm going to go ahead and integrate now. And what's the integration of this look like? Sonny? Right, so u cubed over 3 plus... That's right, plus 3u plus ln of u, right? Speak up, plus c, right? Good job. Everybody following the steps? The steps are okay, aren't they? Good. Get, I'm going to go ahead and distribute all this crap in, so we'll get u cubed plus 9 halves u squared plus 3u plus ln u. Did I miss something? Oh, 3l, 3ln. Thank you. Is that right? And this is 9? Holy mackerel. Finally, what? Resubstitute. And u was equal to the cube root. Sorry, the cube root of x minus 1 cube plus 9 times cube root x minus 1 squared plus 9 times cube root of x minus 1 times, I'm sorry, plus 3 L, whoops, ln of Did I miss a line? Yeah. Which one here? Sorry, good job, thanks. There is a bigger problem here. Can you see it? We talk, we've talked about this before. What's the bigger problem here? Usually I would say to you, Alex, don't worry about expanding this. But in this case, you probably have to expand because there's what? Well, if you expanded this, you're going to get negative 1 at the end, aren't you? And what is negative 1? It's a value of C. It would go over here, wouldn't it? So in this case, I don't anticipate you seeing anything this complicated. I really don't on that exam, but I just want you to know if you can get through this, right? Okay.